Okay, now let's take a look at the graph of a logarithmic function. The first thing we have to do to graph this is write it in exponential form. So I'll rewrite this in terms of y. We have lo y equals log base 2 of x, which means that 2 is our base, y would be our exponent, and it would equal x. Now when you're graphing a logarithmic function by hand, notice that y is the exponent, so it's going to be more convenient for us to choose values of y and find the corresponding values of x. So essentially what we're going to do is we're going to raise 2 to the power of y, these powers, and find the value of x. So 2 to the first power would equal 2. 2 to the second power would give us the next value of 4. 2 to the third would be 8. 2 to the fourth would be 16. 2 to the power of 0 would give us the next value of number 1. Remember, 2 to the power of negative 1 is the same as 1 over 2 to the power of positive 1, which of course is equal to 1 half. Okay, let's plot these points. 2, 1, 4, 2. The rest of these will be off the screen, but we can plot the point 1, 0. And the point 1 half, negative 1. And our graph would look something like this. We can see that this logarithmic function is increasing over its domain. Its domain would be the values of x greater than 0. And at this point, I think it's, it's going to be helpful for us to compare the graph of this logarithmic function with base 2 to the exponential function of base 2. So here we have, in blue, our log function. And in black, we have our exponential function. And I've also graphed the line y equals x. And what this shows is they're symmetrical across the line y equals x, and that's because they're inverses of one another. So there's a lot going on here, but the main idea is that they're inverses of one another. Notice how this has a y-intercept of positive 1, the blue graph has an x-intercept of positive 1, and they're symmetrical across the line y equals x. So log functions and exponential functions are inverses of one another.